Rishi Sunak has said how much he believes in Brexit. This is on the back of Jeremy Hunt uh, hinting that we were going to take a more uh, Switzerland-based approach to our future and have a much closer relationship with Europe and tied into the European um, economic health. Instead, Sunak wants to pull back. Well, in, that's the rhetoric. He's not actually doing more than just simply saying things. When you go to Robert Jenrick, Robert Jenrick is very careful about, again, what he says. Uh, he says, um, I, I asked whether or not Brexit damaged UK trade. He says that it's very difficult to tell whether it was Brexit, the coronavirus, or the war in Ukraine. He should have also added or quasi Quateng's preposterous package. But he didn't. He didn't. And so there's a number of things that he could have blamed our problem on. But the fact is he recognises that we have a problem with UK trade, as we have a problem with our economy, as we have a problem with our political future. These are the problems. This is the basket of problems that we have been left um, and that I think has been exacerbated significantly by Kwasi Kwarteng's adventure and by Liz Truss's uh, indolence and indecision, um, Mrs May's indecision particularly, and um, Boris Johnson's bluster. But the combination of all this uh, has left us essentially directionless and sprouting slogans as if they mean something. We have to get to the point where we recognise that sloganising is not a solution. It is simply a lot of hot air. And uh, I think we've had too much hot air and most of it from the wrong end.